him to mow the edge of the driveway. I think he's going to do that. We'll find out. I might have to move that wire over a little. I think we're a little bit too far away from it. I was kind of hoping his wheel would be right on it, kind of like it is right now. A little bit of a slope right here on the edge. I know he wouldn't like it, but he seems to be surviving okay. And then we got another one of them 45 degree turns since you can't do 90s. Two turns in a row, and he's off. Coming up, I got some pine trees, little baby ones that I wasn't sure what to do with. I've only got like two feet on the right hand side before we get into a ditch. So I guess I told them to stay to the left side of them, and all that stuff to the right over there is going to have to get mowed manually plus that whole section over there because like, he can't get over there but he went around these trees just fine and I was going to have him do that spot right up in front here just a little narrow area but we were running out of wire. As a matter of fact, right there you can see where I had to change over to the other wire. And so that means we've exceeded the limits of the transmitter. I didn't want to mow the rocks either. And I debated these three trees right here. Not much grows in there, but wire-wise it wasn't going to make a difference which way I went around them. So I went ahead and went to the right of them. And he'll make a square around them. This in here I've never mowed, not even once. And that's all the longer, or all the thicker I should say it gets. But I guess he'll start mowing it now. And there he is heading back to his base station. Here's a bunch of tall grass, he's gonna get stuck in that. Even if he doesn't get stuck in it, I think I'm gonna have a problem with the wire being too loose in here. Well, maybe not. And then of course he has the problem with the base station being on an angle. I'm probably going to have to move that back some. I picked the very, very worst spot to go with it there with that angle. Oh, nope, and he's parked and he's backing up. Now what's he going to do? Why are you still testing the wire? That was the end of the wire. Interesting. He's doing what I thought he'd do the first time, which was turn and find that wire. Does he perchance know where it is? I think his front tire is going to be caught on a wire. All right, he's not on the wire when he got lost. What's he gonna do? Is he gonna find it again? He did find it, okay. All right, well, we'll let him see if he makes it back. You know, he's still trying to finish up the wire. Oh, see, now there's a big high spot on the wire. The tire's gonna get caught on that. Yeah, might have got lucky. Might have gotten lucky. And this here is the end of the wire, which is actually where the perimeter is supposed to go. But, I've seen the, the perimeter switch, but I need to get the right connector for it first. All right, he's real close to where he started. I'll keep recording at this point to see if, what he does when he gets to where he started. Oh, yeah, we're real close to that tree. I don't remember exactly where it was, but it was back in here where he found the wire the first time. I wonder if maybe he just tries to drive around twice. I don't know if I want to let him do that or not. Especially since I'm not ready to stake the wire yet. 